Hey guys, so I finally have a Mad Hatter inspired tutorial for you and if you've been around since at least last Halloween season, you've been waiting for one. So I do apologize, but I finally got all my stuff together and the timing actually turned out pretty great since the new movie does open at the end of this month. So this whole month is going to be filled with Wonderland inspired tutorials. So I hope that you will enjoy. All of the lenses that will be featured in this series will be provided by Samhain contact lenses. Besides these ones, I did purchase these ones myself, but all the rest will be provided by them. And I will leave all of their information down below in the description, so please check them out. They're not paying me to make these videos, but they are sending me the lenses for them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, so I'll be using a white cream makeup. You could also use a water-based paint. I personally just prefer the look and feel of the cream makeup once it's set and I feel like I can get it more even and just looking nice and it will stay put for several hours if you set it properly. So once I have kind of worked it in and softened it on the back of my hand, I'm just taking a beauty blender that is damp and applying it all over the face. You can also take it down onto the neck and chest and shoulders if you want, but I decided to keep it more of just like a mask. The only place I'm really not taking this is onto the lids, but I am blending it gently onto the lids so we don't have a harsh line. We're gonna go in later with some eyeshadow base and a white eyeshadow because I find that if I do the cream makeup, even when I powder it, I still get some creasing. So I know with the shadow base and white shadow, I won't have any creasing. And also I'm not too worried about blending this back onto my hairline because I know that my wig is going to cover it. So if you think you might need to, go ahead and remember to do that. So once I have like my base layer down and it's nice and even, I'm going in with the smaller end to really get into those crevices of the eyes and nose. And then I'm going to apply another layer kind of on the highlight areas of my face. And then once I've applied those, I'm going to blend it out into the rest of the, the rest of the makeup. So now that my face is totally white, I'm going in with a white setting powder. You can also use a colorless translucent setting powder. And I'm just stippling or patting this all over my face, again, using my beauty blender. You wanna make sure that you're stippling this on and not wiping it, or you might mess up your beautiful white base. So then once I think I've covered all the main parts of my face, I'm going in with a powder brush to powder some more. Honestly, with this cream makeup, if you think you've powdered enough, go ahead and do another layer so you're nice and set. And once I think I am pretty well set, I go in with my hands to kind of feel around for any stickiness. And if I find any, I'll just add a little bit a little bit more powder over top. And now I'm using a smaller brush to help set around the eyes and the nose. Then once I'm completely positive that it's totally set, I go back in with that powder brush and swirl and brush away all the excess powder. You can also go in with a setting spray on top of this for a little bit extra, but this should last you quite a few hours. Moving on to the eyes, I'm starting out with NYX's HD eyeshadow base, applying this all over the lids and also underneath the eyes. And I'm using a brush to more gently blend this out so we don't mess up our white. Now we're going to cover the entire eye area using a matte white eyeshadow and I'm just using the same fluffy brush that I use to blend out my primer. Now, if you happen to have some product underneath your eyeshadow base, it will crease up before you apply your eyeshadow. So just be sure to blend out any creasing prior to applying your shadows. Next up, we're moving on to the brows and I'm starting out by brushing out my brows just with a spoolie brush and then using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony to fill them in just kind of how I normally would a very natural shape. I know that the Hatter has very prominent brows in the Burton version of the movie, but since my wig is so crazy, I decided to keep these more natural. And then I've had some pretty crazy brow hairs recently, so I'm just going over with a clear brow gel to help really lock everything in place. To start off the eyeshadow, I'm going in with a light purple and applying that to my right eyelid, kind of up to the crease. And then I'm taking it on a blending brush to start blending that up toward the inner part of the brow and down the nose contour. We're going to build this color up a little bit and we're going to follow it up with a darker, it's a little bit more vibrant of a purple shadow. 
and I'm focusing this in the crease and then along that top of the nose contour. And this will just help give us a little bit more depth. And we really want to make sure to blend out all those edges so they're nice and soft. Underneath the eye, we're going in with a hot pink shadow and I'm starting out by just blending this along the lash line. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with this bottom part yet. So I just started out by blending it along the lash line using a pencil brush and eventually I did kind of smoke it out a little bit more. And then you'll also want to be sure if you want to, to really blend that up into the purple so you have a nice soft fade. We're going to do the same thing on the left eye using a blue shadow. I'm just using one shade of blue and just kind of lightly applying it at first and then going in and deepening the color in the crease and then along that nose contour again, making sure to blend everything out really nicely. And then for the bottom on this side, I'm using a more red dark berry tone. This one is Berry Tail from Star Crushed Minerals. Again, just applying that along the lash line to begin with using a pencil brush. And then this one I'm going to blend down a little bit further than the other eye. You can look at Johnny Depp's actual makeup for this um, and kind of just see what kind of shape you might want or if you want to keep it more symmetrical. This is just what I decided to do. I then decided to top the blue shadow with just a little bit of this green shadow and then I'm going in again with the blue to darken up the crease and the contour. I'm then going back in with a little bit of the white eyeshadow to help blend out all of the edges a little bit more. All in all, it's a pretty simple eye look and you can always switch up the colors for different looks as well. So now I'm going in and curling my lashes before I tight line my eyes. On my right eye, I'm going to be using a purple eyeliner. And then on the left eye, I'm going in with a teal kind of eyeliner. Next, I decided to just do a little bit of black mascara for my top lashes. You can also do a white if you want since his are white in the film. I decided to go with black on the top and crazy white on the bottom. And then to really white out the bottom lash line as well as help open up our eyes so they look a bit bigger, I'm just applying a white liner along the lower waterline. Next, I'm using NYX's white liquid liner to coat the bottom lashes. You could also use a white body paint for this. Now, if you want to, you can just keep these lashes as they are. I'm going to go ahead and add some false eyelashes to make them super dramatic. And I cannot remember which lashes these actually are, but you can decide for yourself if you want to go more big and dramatic or smaller. But anyway, I have painted these with that NYX liquid white liner as well and I'm applying them as close to the lower lashes as possible using my tweezers. And I'm really making sure to get both of the ends really stuck down and secure. Then to fill in any gaps we may have, I'm going back in with that white liquid liner to just try and fill those in as best as I can. And now we are totally finished with the eyes. Moving on to contour, I'm going in with a kind of muted plum shade and applying that along the bottom of the cheekbones and blending that kind of down toward the corner of my mouth. I'm blending that back toward my ear and then also up onto the temples and just a little bit around the forehead. I'm also taking it under my bottom lip as well as along my jawline, kind of blending up onto the white. And then I'm going to go over all of the contouring with just a tiny bit of that light purple eyeshadow to just give it more of a purpley hue. I'm then adding over top of that sort of a neutral medium rosy shade and then for a blush I'm using that hot pink shade that we used on the eye earlier. I'm applying this along the top of the contour and then blending it in sort of onto the apples of the cheeks a little bit and I do wish that I would have gone a little bit heavier with this blush. Then for the lips, you guys know I love me some liquid lipsticks, so I'm using Jeffree Star's Prom Night and Stila's Como, but NYX makes a similar shade to this in their butter lipsticks, so I'll have that shade name down below. But I'm first applying Prom Night all over my lips, making sure to really be careful around the edges since our 
white makeup is already set it's going to be really hard to correct if we do mess it up i'm then applying como to the center of my lips and then using my finger to blend that out into prom night this is going to start our ombre lip I'm building this up in thin layers and then once I'm happy with it, I'm going back in with prom night and applying it inward starting from the corners of the mouth. And again, once I have that applied, I'm just using my finger to blend that in. I'm then taking Jeffree Star's Drug Lord to brighten up the center of the lips even more. You do not need a lot of this product. I kind of got too much. So what I did was just blended it out as best I could with my finger and then kind of took the pink and pulled that in onto the white. And then I totally forgot to contour my nose. So if you would like to, don't forget that. Lastly, we're going in with Mayron's Tooth FX in the shade Black. And this is when I realized this might have been a little bit easier before I did the lips, but it worked out in the end. You'll want to make sure that your teeth are completely dry before applying this. And then I'm just doing my best to paint a thin straight line right down the center of my two front teeth. And I'm using another detail brush that I had because the one that comes with the product is just definitely too fat for what we want for this. And then again, make sure the product dries totally before you close your mouth. For the costume, I had these fingerless gloves and just painted them with some yellow and brown paint. And then this fabric I bought at Joann's and I made this with a lot of hot glue and some wire. And then I have a safety pin closure in the back and it's more like a necklace bow tie. And then for the hat, I also got this fabric from Joann's and this I had a mini top hat that I just covered with this fabric again using hot glue and the pink ribbon is also from Joann's. And then this crazy wig is just from Amazon and it's actually a Merida costume wig and it's pretty awesome. I will have the link for the one that I have down below. Then I've also attached an orange elastic headband to the hat just so it will stay on my head. If you want to, you can also use a clear elastic, but with my huge wig, I knew I wasn't really gonna be able to see it anyways. And then I've already tried it on, so I had it already attached inside my wig. And that's pretty much it, guys. Oh yeah, don't forget your thimble. You can also add me on Snapchat. I usually post sneak peeks and other behind the scenes over there. But for now guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you're excited for more Wonderland tutorials this month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.